Greetings, friends, on the Galway Flute Chat. Hey, uh, going to play another movement from one of the Bach flute sonatas. Um, kind of off the cuff. I haven't been working on these, so maybe a little rusty. I'm going to play the accompaniment CD that comes with the Paul Edmund Davies Performing Edition. And this is from the second edition. And this is BWB 1031 in E flat major. It's the first movement, um, one of the easier ones. Anyways, um, I'm actually playing from the score from the uh, Louis Moyes edition because I like the uh, phrasing. I like the choice of articulations and grace notes and trills that the Louis Moyes edition has, but the CD, uh, accompaniment CD, will be from the Paul Edmund Davies performance edition number two. So here we go. Hey, greetings friends on the Galway Flute Chat. I thought since Emily brought up my music stand, I would shoot a little video of it. My dad, who lives in uh, Michigan, hand carved this out of Brazilian mahogany uh, a couple years ago, and uh, I just love it. And now that I have an HD camera, maybe I can catch some detail. His uh, woodworking and sculpture work are uh, actually, uh, he contributed to many of the General Motors uh, car lines, you know, Buick, Oldsmobile, Chevy, Pontiac, Cadillac, 
and did a lot of their insignia work and design work for their you know their artsy stuff on their logos and back in the days when they had artsy door poles and dash L uh, ornaments and such and uh, he's retired now and actually doesn't carve wood anymore because of his arthritis so this was his last real work of art and I just love it a labor of love everything was hand carved hand sawed hand finished um, every little element of it so it's just a, a wonderful work of art and I thought I would take you around my music room and show you a few of my memories this is from the uh, Vegas Switzerland master class last August picture with me and my lovely wife Linda and Sir James um, that was one of the breaks during a weekday session I was filming and Linda was doing the timekeeping and Sir James was teaching us from his vast knowledge and experience this is the woodwind quintet that I play with at the church and uh, don't be fooled by the harpsichord there that was just one of those actually Joy who uh, the keyboard player there is a clarinet player and harpsichord keyboard uh, player organ player extraordinaire um, some memories from the uh, Vegas master class uh, a bottle of wine that I'll never drink presented by Lady Galway and Sir James little Switzerland cowbell from the top of uh, one of the mountains that we visited there a couple rocks from the top of the mountain that we stole so we have some Switzerland here on the shelf um, my idol J.S. Bach love the man little flute box my wife got me for Christmas nothing in it yet maybe I'll put stoppers and corks and crowns and stuff in there <laughs> I moved my things around in here a little bit I don't know if you can see but my room is kind of rearranged and actually I dumped my old uh, spinet piano and bought a new uh, Yamaha YDP223 which is a digital uh, sampling of different instruments play you a, a sample of one of the instruments on here from the demo I love the sound enough of that so anyways wanted to show you all my music stand and uh, I will be hopefully posting some more stuff on the Galway flute chat as far as my YouTube's oh gotta show you my poster this is from the Vegas class last year if you can make it this year by all means attend it is wonderful it's wonderful enough that you get to hear Sir James and Lady Galway teach and play but it's also wonderful that you can see that beautiful country, God's creation, beautiful Lake Lucerne area there where Sir James lives. Just unbelievable. You'll think you've uh, seen a slice of heaven when you go.